So here at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, home of course to Malaysia Airlines and it's Malaysia Airlines I'm flying today on a trip up to Bangkok on board an Airbus A330. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. First step today was to check in. Malaysia Airlines have a dedicated check-in area for business class here in Kuala Lumpur. Hello, good morning. Checking in for Bangkok please. Perfect, thank you very much. Thanks, have a good afternoon. Thank you. Next up was Passport Control, which again has a dedicated lane for business class. I really like the red carpet. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers, have a good day. My flight today was from the satellite pier at KL, which means taking the aero train across the airport. The train is pretty cool and gives some great views over the apron. Once I got to the satellite pier, I had to find the Malaysia Airlines lounge, which was easier said than done. It wasn't that easy to find it, the signage wasn't the best, but eventually I found it upstairs on the mezzanine level with all the other lounges. Hello. Hey, there we go, thank you. Uh, thank you, Thank you. The Malaysia Airlines Golden Lounge is a lovely space with lots of seating as well as good food and drink options. <laughs> I particularly like the noodle bar where I grabbed a lovely prawn noodle soup for breakfast. The lounge also gives some great views across the apron here at KL. Right, time to head to the gate for the flight. Let's go. KL Airport has loads of areas like this where the rainforest seems to mix intrinsically with the modern buildings. It's really cool. Hello. Hi, Ben Coxon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My ride today was this Airbus A330-200, originally delivered to German airline LTU in 2007. It wasn't there long and in 2008 LTU were bought by Air Berlin who had her in their fleet until their demise in 2017. In 2018 she went on to Malaysia Airlines who operate her on their regional routes. My flight was soon called for boarding and I headed down the jet bridge for the flight to Thailand. Thank you. <laughs> Malaysia Airlines operate their E330 200s in this staggered 121 configuration. Each row is different, some have got the window seat against the window and others against the aisle, with the same on the middle seats which are either two together or separated into aisle seats. The business class seats were the same ones that Air Berlin had which is a real blast from the past. Today I was initially allocated an aisle seat 4G which I was hoping to change. So as you can see I'm in a aisle seat at the moment, um, it was the only one that was left when I booked but Expert Flyer has just emailed me um, and said that this seat here is free and it remains so at the moment so fingers crossed nobody gets in it and then I might move over there and hopefully get a decent window view. My gamble paid off and the doors were soon closed with 5 each remaining empty so I made the switch to be closer to a window. The menu for the flight was handed out and it looked pretty decent for a two hour flight. Soon it was time to push back and start our engines. Ladies and gentlemen, your safety is very important to us and Malaysia. The 
taxi hour didn't take long and we were soon lining up for departure. today took 1 hour and 46 minutes and took us up the west coast of Malaysia towards Penang before crossing Thailand into the Gulf of Thailand and commencing our approach into Bangkok. Cruising altitude today was 38,000 feet. So let's have a little look around the um, business class seat here on the Malaysian A330-200 and it's not bad. It's a little bit exposed um, on the aisle seats as you can see they're kind of in a um, configuration where you have like an aisle then a window then an aisle then a window. Uh, this was the best I could get unfortunately on this flight. It does seem to have quite a bit of wasted space in that section just there but, uh, and it is quite exposed here. But it's only a two hour flight so it's not really the end of the world. Um, decent TV system at the front, I'll go through that in a little while. Table pops down and swings around like that, pretty simple. And down here we have the, the remote control for the TV. It's just there. And the seat configuration here, full flat bed on this one. Um, I think I'll try it out in a little while. Um, although that picture looks like it might be a slopey bed, but we'll see. Want it massages as well. I love that function on the flight, it's really good. A reading lamp up here. Drinks holder, coat hook. And then all this space around here and you've got the um, literature and stuff just there. But you're quite some way from the window as well, which is a bit frustrating. I can see why they've done it, it makes good use of the space. Um, they get more seats in, but these aisle seats aren't necessarily the best. But for a two hour flight you can't complain, really. So the crew are now frantically running around trying to get lunch sorted for us. Um, don't envy them on this flight, being managed to do all a full three-course meal service in this amount of time. Uh, <laughs> let's see what it's like when it turns up. For lunch today, I opted for the Ayam Per Chick. I'm sure that somebody was going to tell me that I pronounced that wrong somehow. It was a roasted chicken with chilli and lemongrass sauce. It was delicious and really warms up your taste buds. I decided to put the bed into the flat position to test it, noting the careful instructions to move my feet. I just wonder how many people have tried this and comically got stuck in the seat mechanism. I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> okay, so the bed is down and it is actually a full flat bed. It's really nice. It's not very tall. Um, difficult to lay completely flat on it. Um, might have to lay to one side if you were taking it overnight, but again, who needs a flatbed on a two hour flight? But they do send this on the longer flights as well, I remember. But all in all, it's not too bad, and it's more than I was expecting, to be honest. The IFE system has one of these touch sensor things, and it's one of my pet hates. It's so fiddly to control with the screen using this tiny touchpad to move the mouse, and I'd much rather have the big buttons for my huge sausage fingers. The movie selection is quite good though on Malaysian, it was just a shame that there wasn't long enough to watch it on this flight. I felt like asking if they could just go around again to give me a chance to watch a movie. There was Wi-Fi available on board, however it wasn't working on this flight and I just got this error message, very helpful. seemed like no time at all, we'd started our descent towards Bangkok. We flew in over the coast and got some great views of the Thai countryside on approach. down in Bangkok 20 minutes ahead of schedule and taxied into the terminal. Really 
My ride today was a BA Avios Redemption and it cost me 20 quid plus 16,500 Avios. The usual price for business class on this route was around £300, so this felt like quite a good deal. Thank you very much, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Once in the terminal, I headed through the massive building into arrivals. They were scanning passengers for elevated temperatures due to the current virus outbreak, and I was a little bit nervous when I got called back for another scan, but it turned out I was okay and they let me carry on anyway. Hello. Alright, thank you. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Whatever skills you'd like to brush up on, check out Skillshare. It's an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish your goals. They've got a huge range of online video courses for you to learn anything from crocheting dishcloths to web development. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. I find their range of social media courses a fantastic help in growing my YouTube channel and my other social accounts. Subtle hint. And this course by YouTuber Sorella Moore has some great tips to help you work on your YouTube presence. And let's face it, we could all do with some help in that department. Skillshare has given away two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people who click the link in the description to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So here then at Bangkok Airport, after a pretty nice ride up from Kuala Lumpur on the Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330. Really nice to get on board one of those for a two hour flight actually. Let me know what you thought to Malaysia Airlines down in the comments section below. In the meantime, as always, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.